Hi everybody, it's Samantha. I kind of feel like things are changing so quickly and I don't have time. Is my hair just like insane? Okay, cool. That's just gonna be like that, I guess. It's fine. Um, I feel like things are changing so quickly that I can't make videos fast enough um, to explain all the updates. So this is gonna be another hopefully one take video that is not edited that I can just post soon and uh, I don't have to do as much work with it. Okay, so with my last video, I explained that I was changing treatment, I was switching to Fastlidex, I was coming off of my, or I wasn't switching to Fastlidex, I was adding Fastlidex, which is an injection, and I was coming off of my abemacyclin. So since then, we found another spot in my breast that was growing again, basically in the exact same place. So um, I went and had a follow-up two weeks later, and it was bigger. So uh, my team was thinking maybe we should consider surgery um, for this. And my breast surgeon said, well, how about we do like a quadrant, like take out that whole quadrant of the breast and just do some reconstruction there and then do some radiation there because it seems like I'm really just having a problem with like local recurrence in this one spot in the breast. So rather than doing another lumpectomy, what if we just take out the entire quadrant so that there's less of a chance for it to grow back in that one spot because it's not like it's popping up in various places around the breast, it's really just popping up in this one quadrant. So that's kind of, that was kind of what we were thinking we were gonna do. I went and I had a meeting with the plastic surgeon and he was telling me that probably the best option would be to take some skin from the back and move it and, and tissue, like muscle and fat from the back and skin and move it here um, to reconstruct the breast where they were gonna take stuff out. And then um, tumor board happened and other discussion happened with the various doctors and the radiation oncologist said, well, she can't get more radiation because I had basically, I guess, all of the radiation that that area can take with that type of radiation back in 2019. So radiation is a little bit complicated, like there's other types of radiation that I can keep getting, which is why I did just have radiation again um, on like a spot in my, where even was it, my hip that just popped up on the scan. And that's fine, like the little shots of SBRT radiation are fine and I can keep getting those, but I can't have more breast radiation. So then they were like, okay, let's do a biopsy on this area, make sure like it actually is cancer there and everything. And it's not just like scar tissue or stuff forming around the sutures of the surgery that I had in May. And so we did biopsy, confirmed cancer. And um, it l looks like from that biopsy that the estrogen receptor was very low, it was only uh, present in 5% and progesterone was negative, HER2 was low and so that and, th and that was only in 10% of tumor cells I guess. So basically the report from the biopsy showed that the cancer that was there was very similar to the cancer that came out of that same place in May when they did that lumpectomy. So they talked through everything again and my oncologist and I and everybody all decided that probably this cancer isn't really responding to any of the hormone stuff really anymore because it's really only 5% estrogen positive and everything else is negative and so maybe don't do Fastlidex, um, which was kind of hard to decide because it felt like we didn't really give it much time to work. Um, but 
then, but we kind of decided that maybe I'll try going on Zolota again. And Zolota is a chemo pill, an oral chemo, um, that you take three in the morning, three at night. And right now I'm actually only taking two in the morning and two at night because um, you kind of work your way up to it and it works better with side effects wise and stuff like that. So um, that's what I'm doing now. And that, if you remember, is kind of, is the same thing that I started at the end of last year, um, but we decided to go against it and save it for later because uh, something else we were going to try the the stuff that I was doing this year, um, the hormone therapy and targeted therapy instead, and save Zolota for later. Well, now it's later. We're using the Zolota, and hopefully that does well. So I took one week of Zolota, um, and then it's seven days on, seven days off. So one week of Zolota, and then I'm on my off week right now. And then... I went back to the breast surgeon because my oncologist said, let's just keep watching that spot because maybe we want to still consider surgically removing it. Oh, yeah, so they decided they wanted to start Zolota but not take out the tumor because um, they wanted to see if it worked. So if the tumor in my breast is shrinking, then they know, oh, the Zolota is working and it's getting smaller and so then it's probably working other places in the body and then we can remove the tumor in the breast if it's like still there and causing issues. Um, but my oncologist said, let's just have you follow up with the breast surgeon every two weeks to see if the spot is getting bigger or if it gets to the point where surgery isn't an option anymore because we want to make sure like to actually get it out um, before it gets it spreads too much into a place where you can't really do anything. So that's what we're doing now, um, having appointments every two weeks. So I just had one of those appointments yesterday. And at that appointment, she goes, so what, what, what are we thinking? And I was like, well, I want to like make sure surgery is still an option because if it isn't anymore, or like if it's getting to the point where it's not going to be anymore, then I want to take this out. I don't want to give it the chance to spread, even though we are like still trying to see if this will work. And I only have been taking it for a week. So we don't know, like even if it has gotten bigger, that doesn't mean that this Loda isn't working. It just means like that we haven't had a chance to see anything yet. And so, um, but she looked at it and she said, yeah, I think that the window is closing. I think that this is starting to get um, anchored down a little bit more, so it could be invading the chest wall soon, so we probably just need to get this out as soon as we can. And so um, she told me that she was going to be out next week so that she, so she could get me in the following week, but then like I've got some stuff coming up some trips coming up and then she was super nice and was like well let's see if we can fit you in this week so Halloween um tomorrow so I had my appointment yesterday and they got me in for surgery tomorrow and tomorrow is Halloween so I'm a little bit bummed because I wanted to go trick-or-treating with my daughter but I would much rather have this done now um, then wait so that's good and um, when she was looking at it she was like well it looks like it's a lot bigger now and it seems like we're going to have to take out a lot of stuff so we could do that but then like the nipples still gonna be gone and like all this is gonna be gone so if you really want to like save some breast tissue we can do that um, but what do you think about doing just a mastectomy? And I was like, I don't have any issues doing a mastectomy if that's like what is recommended by you. And she was like, yeah, like I think that that is the option that I would choose in this circumstance. So we're going to go with a single mastectomy on the left side. Again, nothing has shown up in the right breast, so no reason to do anything over there at this moment. And she, she even said, like, if you don't want to do that, and I know, like, 
we scheduled surgery two days from now. So if you want to like go back on this decision, you totally can. And in my mind, I'm just kind of like, I just want there not to be cancer there and I want to do what is recommended by them. And she said, she did tell me like not everyone would agree with her and not everyone would decide to do surgery at all um, because they would want to wait and see if the Zolota works first and that would give them more information on if they need to try a new treatment before the surgery. And she said that with a lot of stage four patients, they say it's not like, she didn't say these words, but it's not like worth it to focus so hard on local recurrence because cancer can show up anywhere in your body. But she said, you know, I've seen bad things happen if you don't control the local recurrences, um, recurrences. So um, she thinks it's a good idea to take it out. And honestly, it makes me feel better too because I really, the idea of waiting around and seeing if the Zolota works makes sense and it it makes sense why they want to do it. But in my mind, I'm like, well, what if it doesn't work and the cancer just gets bigger and then we're past the point of being able to do surgery. So it gives me more peace of mind to remove it. Um, and then uh, sh we would not be doing reconstruction because I can't have radiation so we would just remove it and then kind of watch the area and then if it all looks good and nothing shows up then it is it would be possible to do reconstruction later on possibly um but like I said I really don't care about reconstruction like if they told me like you have to remove your breasts and you can't do reconstruction for the rest of your life that and but that would like be your best odds then I would be like okay fine like go ahead do it so uh, it feels kind of rushed because it feels kind of like oh I had the appointment yesterday but we're doing the surgery tomorrow so it feels kind of rushed and that feels like a short amount of time to make a decision like that but it's actually kind of been a long time of me thinking about it because this has kind of always been something that's been in the back of my mind. This is something that kind of came up in 2019 as a potential option that we didn't end up going with, but it was an option. So it's, it is kind of something that I have been thinking about for a while. And so I don't really feel too rushed um, in doing this. It kind of feels like it's been something that I've been thinking and thinking about for a while and so if you are in my shoes I would say don't just rush into surgery I mean you should think about it and think about if it's right for you um, but that is why I'm doing it in this moment if that makes sense because it really has been something that's on my mind and we're at this place right now where it's like Let's just take the cancer out. Um, and I don't know when my next scans are. I think they're supposed to be in a month or two. Um, maybe a couple months. I think like two months after starting Zolota. And I just started it. So hopefully those scans are good. And my last scans were good. Pretty much. So... Um, hopefully the Zolota works, hopefully the surgery works, we get everything out that we need to get out, and um, everything goes well, and I, I feel like I'm forgetting to say, oh, did I say I'm, I stopped hormone stuff, so I'm no longer taking an astrozole, I'm no longer having Zolodex to shut down the ovaries, I'm just doing Zolota, the oral peanut, the oral chemo pill because um, my oncologist like consulted with a bunch of other doctors and read some studies and whatnot and it seems that an astrozole or hormone therapy things can decrease the effectiveness of Zolota so we kind of just want to like go all in on the Zolota and see if that works well. Um, 
So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Um, by the time this is posted, my surgery will be over. So I won't say wish me luck on the surgery, but I will say thank you so much for all of your comments and thank you so much for all your prayers. Um, very appreciated and I'm sorry that I haven't had a chance really to respond to comments as much as normal but I do read them and I do try to answer questions so if you have questions please leave a comment and if somebody else has a question and you know the answer to it then go go ahead and try to answer their question because that might help me out too <laughs> I'm if you can tell I'm just very tired right now um, we went on vacation to Disney World and we got back two days ago. So I'm kind of recovering from walking around Disney World, being on a plane, and now in this moment trying to unpack the suitcases, do all the laundry, because we got back two days ago. Yesterday I had my appointments all day. I had like three appointments for various things. And then today I, and having my surgery scheduled for tomorrow. So now I'm like, I need to get all of this stuff cleaned and ready because I'm going to be laying in bed <laughs> after surgery and I won't be able to do all this trip laundry and whatever. So my daughter's asleep now and I just thought I would come on here and make this video real quick and then get back to all the stuff that I'm trying to do. That's why this is going to be an unedited video. Um, but yeah, that's the update. Thanks so much for watching, and yeah, that's all. Bye.